U.S. aerospace company Stratolaunch has successfully conducted the first powered test flight of a new unmanned craft for hypersonic research. This significant event took place on Saturday, March 9, 2024. The vehicle, known as Talon A1, TA1, was launched from the world's largest airplane, the massive Stratolaunch carrier plane, ROC, during a test flight that took off from the Mojave Air and Spaceport in California's Mojave Desert. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. The TA-1 vehicle, designed to serve as a private hypersonic testbed, was under the center of the rock's vast 385-foot, 117 meters, wing during the takeoff. Once achieving sufficient altitude above 20,000 feet, the curved-nosed hypersonic vehicle was dropped from rock's center wing, and its Ursa Major-built Hadley rocket engine ignited to propel the vehicle at superfast hypersonic speeds. The vehicle reached high supersonic speeds approaching Mach 5. The primary objectives for the TA-1 flight test included deploying a safe air launch release of the TA-1 vehicle, successful engine ignition, Mach 5 acceleration, sustained altitude climb, and a controlled water landing. All these objectives were successfully met. This test flight is considered a major milestone in the development of the United States' first privately funded, reusable hypersonic test capability. The data collected from this test will be invaluable for planning future steps towards the first flight of TA-2 later this year. Hypersonic flight refers to the ability to fly at exceptionally high speeds, exceeding Mach 5. At this speed, we are flying at around 2 km per second, which is about 7,200 km per hour. This is a speed where dissociation of air begins to become significant and high heat loads exist. Air passing over a vehicle traveling at hypersonic speeds becomes hot enough from shock compression and viscous dissipation to change its thermodynamic and chemical nature. Historically, hypersonic speed was attained with rocket propulsion, but low fuel efficiency limits the practical use of rockets to propel airplanes over long distances. Unlike rockets, hypersonic air-breathing engines, such as the ramjet or supersonic combustion ramjet scramjet, can make long-range hypersonic travel practical. The potential impact of hypersonic flight on the future of air travel is immense. The primary benefit of hypersonic flight is extreme speed, which could allow passengers to travel between global cities in a couple of hours. This could revolutionize travel, enhance scientific research, and provide strategic advantages. However, there are challenges to overcome. One of the main issues is the intense aerodynamic heating of the vehicle's surface due to skin friction and shock wave heating. Specialist materials, either high-temperature ceramics or ablative materials that slowly burn away during flight, are required on the outside of vehicles to insulate the craft against this heat and still be light enough to fly. Moreover, the environmental impact of hypersonic flight is a significant concern. Today, aviation accounts for around 2.5% of global CO2 emissions, a percentage that risks rising with faster flights. Therefore, if such high-speed flying eventually becomes possible, a related goal is to limit the environmental impact. Developing a hypersonic aircraft presents several significant challenges. 1. Heat management. Hypersonic flight, defined as traveling at speeds above Mach 5.5, subjects the aircraft to extreme temperatures due to shock compression and viscous dissipation. This requires careful thermal management and the development of materials and cooling systems that can withstand these extreme conditions. 2. Aerodynamics. The aerodynamic design of a hypersonic aircraft is complex. At supersonic and hypersonic speeds, aircraft are subjected to aerothermal heating, reducing the stiffness and strength of the airframe, making the structure more susceptible to strong fluid structure interactions. This can lead to reduced aerodynamic performance, structural fatigue, and potentially catastrophic failure. 3. Fuel efficiency. Historically, hypersonic speed was attained with rocket propulsion, but low fuel efficiency limits the practical use of rockets to propel airplanes over long distances. Hypersonic air-breathing engines, such as the ramjet or supersonic combustion ramjet scramjet, can make long-range hypersonic travel practical. However, the fuel efficiency of air-breathing engines decays with Mach number. 4. 
Economic viability. One of the major issues is the economic viability of hypersonic flight. It is currently too expensive, and no one has made it economically viable to overcome these issues. 5. Miniaturization. There are continuing calls for miniaturization, to get smaller and lighter as well as faster, which further complicates the picture. 6. Technical challenges. There are several technical challenges like fluid structure interactions, propulsion, and materials to withstand the thermodynamic loads. Despite these challenges, several universities and private organizations are making great progress in the area of hypersonic flight, working to overcome these technical challenges. The development of hypersonic aircraft represents a new frontier in aviation, space exploration, and military capabilities. Hypersonic airplanes utilize a range of innovative technologies to achieve their remarkable speeds. Here are some key technologies. 1. Scramjet engines. Scramjet, supersonic combustion ramjet, engines are a major innovation in hypersonic flight. Unlike traditional jet engines, which slow incoming air to subsonic speeds for combustion, scramjet engines allow air to flow through at supersonic speeds, only slowing it down slightly for the combustion process. This makes them more efficient at hypersonic speeds and enables them to achieve much higher temperatures and pressures. Scramjet-powered vehicles are envisioned to operate at speeds up to at least Mach 15. 2. Advanced Materials Hypersonic flight subjects aircraft to extreme temperatures and pressures, necessitating the use of advanced materials. These can be broadly classified into three types, refractory metals, composites, and ceramics. Each material offers distinct trade-offs for a given subsystem and environmental application. For example, researchers at the University of Queensland are testing new composite materials that can withstand the extreme heat produced at Mach 8. 3. Magnetohydrodynamics MHD. NASA's technology transfer program is licensing its rights to a radical new form of propulsion that uses electromagnets to control the flow of plasma over aircraft and spacecraft flying at hypersonic speeds. This concept is based on what is known as magnetohydrodynamics, or MHD, which uses electrical and magnetic fields to control the flow of gases or liquids. 4. Computational Simulation Capabilities Dramatically faster and higher fidelity computational simulation capabilities for fluid dynamics, applied to aerodynamics and propulsion, materials, structures, and multidisciplinary system design optimization have enabled hypersonic air-breathing flight. These technologies are still in the development and testing stages, but they hold immense promise for revolutionizing air travel and space exploration. China has been making significant strides in hypersonic technology, including advancements in hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, and hypersonic aircraft. While specific details on the latest developments can rapidly change, here are some key points. 1. Hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, China has successfully tested several hypersonic glide vehicles, which are designed to be launched on ballistic trajectories and then glide on a curved path at hypersonic speeds toward their targets. These tests indicate China's progress in developing systems that are difficult for current missile defense systems to detect and intercept. 2. DFZF, WU-14, one of the most discussed hypersonic projects in China is the DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle, also known as the WU-14. Reports indicate that China has conducted multiple successful tests of this vehicle, which is designed to be carried atop a ballistic missile and then glide at Mach 5 or higher towards its target. The DFZF is seen as a potential game-changer in terms of its ability to evade missile defenses. 3. Hypersonic Aircraft China has also been working on hypersonic aircraft projects. One notable example is the Sunan Jet hypersonic vehicle, which is part of a broader range of hypersonic technologies being developed by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, CASC, and other entities. These efforts aim to create aircraft capable of sustained flight at hypersonic speeds, potentially for both military and civilian applications. 4. Commercial Applications while much of the focus has been on military applications, there is also interest in hypersonic technology for civilian use, including hypersonic passenger flight. China has expressed interest in developing hypersonic transport vehicles that could revolutionize global travel by cutting flight times significantly. 
5. Recent Test Flights In recent years, there have been reports of successful test flights involving hypersonic vehicles in China. These tests are often conducted in a highly classified manner, with details about the technology and its capabilities remaining scarce. The tests are indicative of China's rapid progress in hypersonic technology, though specific details about the performance of hypersonic aircraft are not always publicly available. The significance of the world's first hypersonic airplane extends far beyond the technological achievement itself, impacting various aspects of aerospace engineering, military strategy, and global transportation. Here are some of the key implications. 1. Advancements in aerospace engineering. The development of a hypersonic airplane represents a quantum leap in aerospace engineering. It requires overcoming major technical challenges, including heat management, aerodynamics, propulsion systems, and materials science. Success in these areas not only enables the creation of hypersonic aircraft but also advances the broader field of aerospace engineering, potentially leading to new materials, propulsion technologies, and design methodologies that can be applied to other aerospace projects. 2. Speed and Global Reach Hypersonic aircraft can travel at speeds much faster than current commercial and military aircraft, potentially cutting flight time significantly. For military applications, this means rapid deployment of assets and capabilities that can respond to global events in a matter of hours rather than days. For civilian applications, hypersonic flight could revolutionize air travel, offering the potential for significantly reduced travel times across the globe. 3. Strategic Military Advantage in military terms, hypersonic technology offers a significant advantage in terms of both offense and defense. Hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, and cruise missiles can evade current missile defense systems, posing a challenge to existing strategic deterrence balances. Additionally, the ability to deploy forces and assets at high speeds can dramatically alter military strategy, enabling rapid response to crises and changing the dynamics of global power projection. Four. Technological Leadership and Competitiveness The development of hypersonic technology is a marker of a nation's technological prowess and industrial capabilities. Nations that lead in this field will have a competitive edge in several areas, including national defense, space exploration, and potentially in the emerging field of hypersonic commercial aviation. This leadership position can also influence international relations and technological standards on a global scale. 5. Environmental and regulatory considerations. The introduction of hypersonic aircraft will also raise environmental and regulatory questions. The high speeds and potential sonic booms generated by hypersonic vehicles could pose challenges for civilian aviation, necessitating new noise reduction technologies and international agreements on flight paths and altitudes. Additionally, the development of sustainable and eco-friendly propulsion systems for hypersonic flight will become a critical area of research to mitigate environmental impact. 6. Economic Opportunities and Challenges The hypersonic revolution will create new markets and economic opportunities in aerospace manufacturing, maintenance, and support services. However, it will also require significant investment in research and development, posing economic challenges and the need for international collaboration to share costs and risks. In summary, the world's first hypersonic airplane is a landmark achievement that promises to transform aerospace engineering, military strategy, and global transportation. Its development and deployment will require addressing complex technical, environmental, and geopolitical challenges, but the potential benefits in terms of speed, strategic advantage, and technological advancement make it a pivotal area of pursuit for the future of aerospace. We will continue to follow up on this intriguing development and report back as we hear more. That's all for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.